Hello, my name is Daniel Segura. I am the Director of Student Services for the College of the Arts and Media. I'm here with Jonathan Russell, who is the uh, Associate Dean of the College of the Arts and Media and also uh, former chair of the Department of Art and Design. Today we're going to talk about art and design and I'm going to introduce Jonathan Russell. Hello. So Jonathan, as um, we think about art and design, what are some of the options for students in the Department of Art and Design? Well, we have four degrees that you can choose from. We have a Bachelor of Fine Arts. The Bachelor of Fine Arts offers concentrations in animation, graphic design, and studio art. We also have the Bachelor of Applied Arts, which offers a concentration in studio art. A lot of people ask the difference in that. The main difference is that the Bachelor of Fine Arts is considered the professional degree, and it gives you more hours in art and art history. So it gives you more time dedicated to the area that you want to study. Um, the Bachelor of Applied Arts is, the Bachelor of Fine Arts is about 78, 79 uh, credits. The Bachelor of Applied Arts is 59 credits. So you take that extra 20 credits as a minor um, of something that you're interested in. And we also have the Bachelor of Arts in Art History, and we have the Bachelor of Science in Education for Visual Art Education. So with those degrees, students can get jobs all over the place. We have lots of different options as far as electives that you can take depending on what you're interested in. Okay, well, thank you. Um, what are some of the key features of the Department of Art and Design? The key, I think there are two main key features of the Department of Art and Design. That is our faculty and our facilities. Our faculty are all dedicated practicing studio artists themselves. Uh, all of your classes will be taught by a faculty member that has a, a degree in the area that you're studying. And we don't have any graduate students that are teaching classes, so that's a really nice that's a really nice feature of getting to know all of your faculty members. We have a great student to faculty ratio. All of our studio courses are 18 to 1, so you, there's only 18 other students with you in your class, and you get lots of one on one time with your faculty. They work really well with the students. They're really concerned about student success and they want to help you make the best work that you can, which leads us into our facilities. We have a lot of great traditional facilities, uh, traditional sculpture making, printmaking, painting studios, drawing studios. We have an animation studio. In this slide, you can see in the upper left, our traditional animation studio with down shooter stations where they're taking one frame at a time, 24 pictures for one second of animation. In the lower right, you can see, yeah, stop motion. In the lower right, you can see one of our faculty members working individually with a student on a figure sculpture. But in addition to all of these traditional um, art facilities, we also have a lot of fantastic 21st century facilities. In the upper right, you can see a 48 by 48 inch plasma cutter that cuts up to half inch steel. So we can use that to computer control cut in any kind of metal. In the lower left, you can see one of our 3D printers. That is a resin printer that prints very high resolution that a lot of our animation students are using to create characters. A lot of our sculpture and ceramic students are using those 3D printers. We have a total of 30 3D printers in the Department of Art and Design that are available for student use. We also have a laser cutter. We have a letter press. We have a computer controlled router. We have lots of traditional art making capabilities and we also have a lot of 21st century capabilities so that one-on-one -on -one faculty interaction combined with these traditional and 21st century you can get you can do anything that you can dream up you can make in the department of art and design at central michigan university okay well that's really great what does the first semester look like for a new student uh or the first year even for a student interested in one of the art and design majors? It's a great question. We recommend that incoming freshmen and new students take 
mix up their schedule. You know, the goal is to take 15 credits, five classes per semester. We recommend that a, an incoming student interested in art and design, any of our majors, take three art and design courses combined with two competency and UP courses. Um, the three that we recommend in the first semester is that you take, and these are kind of interchangeable. So we recommend you take first an introductory level studio course. So depending on the area you're interested in, you would take an introductory studio course in that area. For example, let's say animation, you would take introduction to animation, or if you're interested in sculpture, you would take introduction to sculpture. The second course that we recommend you take is one of the introductory art history courses. There are two art history courses that are required of every single art major. That's uh, they're the introduction to Western art parts one and two. Part one covers basically prehistory through the Renaissance. Part two covers Renaissance through contemporary. Usually when I say contemporary, that's usually around 1980 or so. Um, so we recommend that you take one of those two courses. And then we recommend that you take a foundations course. There are four foundations courses in the Department of Art and Design, and they're called the foundations courses because that builds a full foundation of that you need with the principles and elements of design, learning how to think like an artist, how to speak like an artist, how to look at art, talk about art, write about art. They're very, very important. And that's why we recommend that you take those in your first two, two of those in your first year and the other two in your second year so that by the time you're ready to begin taking courses, upper level courses in your area of interest, you've completed those foundations. So we recommend that you take one of those foundations courses. And we recommend that for fall and spring semester in your first year. And then as part of that, what you'll also want to do in those foundations courses and in your introductory studio courses, you're going to meet faculty in your areas of interest. That's where you start building those relationships. And that's where you start asking questions. What can I do moving forward? What's the best plan for me? What should I do in my sophomore year? Because that freshman year for every major looks really, really similar. Choosing an introductory studio, choosing um, one of the foundations courses and choosing one of the introduction to Western art, art history courses. Those are the three important courses. And the art and design Q and A's uh, will be Zoom meetings, uh, 10 a.m every Friday from May the 29th and through the June the 26th. Um, that information will be accessible on cam.cmish.edu. We'll have it right on the front page, but also a, a secondary page as well. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Russell, and I appreciate your time. Have a super great day. Thanks.